keeping the arms straight, extend the arms from the shoulders to pull the straps back. Return the carriage forward, allowing the arms to return back in front of you. Exhale as you send the carriage forward and reach the arms back. Inhale to return the arms for forward. Keep the elbows straight and keep the spine neutral, allowing a slight retraction through the shoulder blades as the arms pull back. Try and externally rotate through the upper arm to avoid the shoulders rounding forward as the arms reach back. Reaching the arms out to the side and slightly back to move the carriage forward and return the arms back to the start position, returning the carriage back. As you exhale, widen through the front of the chest, opening as the arms reach out to the side and slightly behind, retracting the shoulder blades. Inhale to return the carriage back, bringing the arms back in front of you. As you do this, try and maintain a lengthened position through the spine and pelvis, avoiding hyperextending through the low back. Using just one arm, reach the arm backwards into shoulder extension and allow the carriage to return as the arm comes back to shoulder flexion. This single arm version challenges the stability through the pelvis. Exhale as the arm reaches backwards, inhale as you return the carriage back. Keep the arm, elbow, wrist in a straight line and feel a slight retraction through your shoulder blade, avoiding hyper elevation and depression of the shoulder, keeping the scapula stabilized throughout. We can also challenge the stability and the strength through the shoulder by crossing the rope into the opposite hand. So this will bring more challenge to the arm work. Make sure to keep the chest opening reaching wide through the collarbones to avoid rotating the shoulder forward and keep that vertical position through the spine and pelvis as you work through the arms. Keeping stable through the spine and pelvis, reach the arms back into shoulder extension and allow the carriage to return with control, bringing the arms back in front into shoulder flexion. Exhale as you extend the arms backwards, retracting the shoulders gently and inhale to return the arms back forward, maintaining the stability through the pelvis. This is a more challenging position than the seated position more abdominal engagement is required, inner thighs will help to stabilize the position and make sure there's no hip flexion or lumbar hyperextension as you work through this exercise. Keep the shoulders in a neutral position avoiding elevating or depressing the shoulder blades too much.
keeping the body strong and stable. Reach the arm carefully back into shoulder extension and control the return of the carriage forward, allowing the arms to return back to the start position. This is a big challenge for stability and core stability through the whole body. This must be done very slowly and only with those at a higher level of ability. Exhale as the arms reach backwards, slightly retracting the shoulder blades. Inhale to return the arms forward. Allow the shoulder blades to glide together into retraction as the arms go back, and then allow the shoulder blades to return to neutral as the arms return back in front.